Today we've got a pretty exciting new shoe from Hocker. Um, it's a new member to the Mac family. It's called the Mac X, so let's have a quick look. So I think the, the Mac name people will recognise. It's become like a pretty familiar family member of, of Hocker's lineup. Um, they've now introduced this guy, which is the Mac X. And basically I think the, the, in the, the quickest way to summarise this would be they've turbocharged the Mac. Um, they're using a P-Bax midsole, um, well like a portion of P-Bax midsole, which will give you that really kind of um, nice soft feeling, but a little more responsive. And they've also put a plate in there. So the plate obviously stiffens things up a little bit, um, kind of makes the rocker a little more pronounced in this shoe. Um, but I'll just pull this out so we can kind of dive into it a little bit more. First feel is like obviously very light, and I think this sort of shoe, which is gonna be that um, that really nice bridge between training or tempo training as well as racing for those who want it. So um, we don't normally recommend a, a plated shoe or especially something with a carbon plate as a daily trainer. But um, Hocker now as well as a few other brands are introducing um, shoes like this which have a P-Bax plate. So it's a little more forgiving, still gives you the nice pop um, I guess and stiffness that you kind of expect from a plate which, I, which helps it kind of bridge the gap into the racing category but it also allows it to be a little bit more versatile for training runs, that sort of thing. So um, this has a, a P-Bax plate, a full length P-Bax plate, which is cool. Um, and then they've got the um, Piva uh, midsole material with a traditional EVA. So you're kind of getting this layer, you can see the little the bits white through there. So that's the Piva, which is a really light, nice, um, wish you could feel it. Um, it's a really light kind of poppy material, so it gives you that first feel, step in comfort, as well as a nice responsive kind of pop to it. Um, I think they're like, the one of the attributes of this shoe, which are gonna make it, um, I think a good addition to a lot of shoe lineups out there, is it's gonna, be, it's gonna be durable. So a lot of the time when we get into this category, we end up with a shoe um, that's not necessarily built to last. And so you're paying kind of top dollar for a shoe which is designed for you to race in and you get 400 Ks out of it. This sort of shoe with the addition of like a hard wearing outsole material is gonna last. So I think we're gonna be pushing up like, you know what I mean, 800 Ks or thereabouts in a shoe. So, so you're gonna get um, something which is like light, responsive, durable, as well as can kind of transition from training to racing for a lot of people. So I think it'll hit the mark there really nicely. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, but like first feel is it's light. It's a little bit of that is pretty stiff through the through the forefoot, which is nice. That kind of gives you that that nice rocker, that nice toe off feeling when you try it on. So I know um, um, when this shoe releases end of June, there'll also be a video. So one of our um, Georgia who works for us um, got to run the Sydney Half Marathon in it, and so you will also see her first thoughts on it. But for her to run out of the box and race in it is pretty cool. To be able to do that, you know what I mean, and, and pull up all right, I think, um, that says a lot for this shoe. So uh, the Mac X is gonna sit, it's gonna come in at a $320 price point. So it's kind of pushing up there, but I think in this category where it will bridge the gap between training and racing, as well as like getting that extra jubilee out of it, it's gonna be good. You're gonna get like good value for money out of something like this. And, and the category that this sits in, which is probably alongside endorphin speeds, that sort of thing, which will be a very popular model, there's um, there's like plenty going on in that space. So now you can really kind of segment your shoe lineup with racing, tempo training, and then daily training. So Hocker, I think, are gonna have a, a pretty good shoe in every category now, once, once you include this in there. Mac X is gonna come in at uh, men's and women's same heel drop. It's a five mil heel drop, which kind of sits sort of right in that sweet point for this, or that sweet spot for this style of shoe. So not too low, not too high. Um, I think the, obviously the stack height, there's a fair bit of volume under your foot, as well as the rocker hide the heel drop just a little bit. Once you combine it all together with the like Creel Jacquard upper and the midsole materials, it comes in like a real nice, tidy little lightweight package. I think it's going to be a great shoe. So this launches in store and online June 30.